Mm. Holy crap, we're early today. Woo! Wow! Welcome, yeah. everybody, to the uh, first, first Thursday uh, night conflict. Kind the, the Thursday, Wednesday. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, I got this. The Midweek War. That actually sounds a lot better. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, uh, Impact was on Wednesday for the first time. And NXT was on today, Thursday, if you're catching us live. Uh, if you're not catching us live, the Thursday. Um, so we have an hour to kill. We're going to sit here for an hour and just stare at you guys. Well, I can, I can, I can describe uh, where, I, where I was and why I wasn't able to watch NXT. Oh, uh, no, no. We're just going to stare and oh, stare just, at the camera. Just stare into nothingness? For an hour. Okay, for an hour. Uh, for an hour. Uh, hmm. Should we should we give like some some background nope, theme? Nope. No. 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 Hour. All right. Now that we got right. everybody out of the you know out of the room here that actually doesn't like us. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna do something, change it up a bit. I barely watched TNA. To be fair, when it was on Thursdays, you barely watched TNA. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> this was different because I actually had shit to do. Um, but, but Mad Mike did, and he tweeted for the sh for the Mayhem show at Mayhem show. I um, did. So we're gonna go through Mad Mike's good, bad, and what he would change. Yes. Now I can chime in for whatever it is worth. But I think I know where his good's going. Just put that out there. So, Mad Mike, what is your one good thing about TNA? Uh, my one good thing about TNA this week was um, the wrestling, for the most part. Oh. For 80% 80, 80 of the uh, show, I'd say it was very good to great wrestling. Um. <laughs> No, I mean, the Bram and Abyss was a nice little hardcore match, you know. Yeah. Not, not the Monster's Balls that we remember. It's it's um, It wasn't the Monster's Ball either. No. It was, just, it was, it was, it was a stairway, ladder match. Stairway to Janice or whatever, which once you got Janice, you didn't win the match. It was pinfalls, whatever. Whatever. Um, it, it was Janice on a pole. Yeah. With a ladder. Yes. Um... The Samoa Joe low-key match was really good. Of course they are. That's one constant that you know, because they've been there, they've been through ROH and all that. They're going to have a good match. Um, yeah, the only... And it's not, you know, Samoa Joe from ROH. Oh, and it's not low-key from even early TNA, but... <laughs> Essentially. Like, yeah, that too. Uh, but the only thing I would have... The only thing that bothered me about that match is they kept referring to how old Samojo and Loki were. Like that Loki was in TNA 12 years ago or 10 years ago mm -hmm. or something like that. And I'm like, "Oh, really don't mention that. Don't mention that cuz the no. cuz the exhibition is supposed to be like the young guys, the up and comers and no. Like no. <laughs> You shouldn't point out that Loki wrestled your first X Division match ever. You should well, not point that out. Well, it's kind of like what they do with RVD sometimes. They go, I mean, it, it, this is going back to you know WWE, but it's it, it was more of a nostalgia factor that hey, remember this guy? But I, I can see your point that they're they're really really pushing the fact that these guys have wrestled a lot. Yeah, oh, I, but but they don't but they don't refer to RVD as a youngster. Oh no, they don't. You like, are you are correct on that one. That, that and, does sound horrible. Like they they don't they don't put him in a cruiserweight division. Mm. You know, RVD's gotten to a point where he's wrestling for heavyweight titles and is is at that level. Like yeah, it's almost like saying, "Hey, Loki is in the exact same position he was in twelve years ago." <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, um uh, the Gail Kim and Angelina love match was fine. It wasn't as good as Gail Kim versus I did Tana not Burrell. like that match at all. That's the one. That's the first match that I saw, and I was completely turned off by it. Well, I mean, Angelina, Angelina Love is not. No, like she's wrestling. not. And I pointed this out on Twitter. If if your best moment in that match was a spot, a good spot, by the way. Was a spot off the top of the of, of the top of the ropes into a steel chair. It's not a good. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm thinking too much into it, but it just seemed like they were trying to be non-diva. They were trying to they were trying to redo Gail Kim turn to Yeah, they that, were. That match was actually really good. And I they think were, it, but. I think but it was it that good. match was good because we didn't expect that from Taryn Terrell. But we. Uh, Angelina loves been around a lot longer than Taryn Terrell. Yeah, that's 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 my point basically. And also, um, I, I'm watching Hornswoggle as a cow right now. I I noticed. I I could hear it in the background. Um, and and I have to say the six the six sides of steel. It was good. That it was, was good a, to see it back. That was a good match. It was good to see it back. It was good to see back mm -hmm. the six weight, the hexagonal cage. Yeah. Um, they had a double tower of doom spot, which, I mean, if you want to make me a mark for a match, you put in one tower of doom. If you want to mm -hmm. make me really love a match, you put in two towers of doom. I mean, that's just that. That's always going to be a winner for me. Um, the only real low light with the uh, with the matches was Anderson versus Sam Shaw. Oh, God, why do they have that match? Because Mr. Anderson's a douchebag. Oh, that's right. Yep. Uh, so, what uh, is your one bad thing about... My one thing? my one bad thing, uh, Bram beat Abyss. I, I don't... I don't get it. I don't... I don't get Bram. No, I don't... I don't either. Like, is it just because he's Ric Flair's son-in-law? Is that the only reason he's getting pushed? Oh, God. Like, I think that is Ugh. it. I think that's the only reason. And, uh, like, that whole match, like, it was like, it was a fine match, but they didn't explain the rules. Like, you'd think a stairway to Janice, where it's a ladder match where you have to get Janice, you win once you get Janice, because it's, like, for possession of Janice. But the match didn't end then. Mm. Like I, I, it it was it was confusing whenever they announced it. Yes. Because I, I, were, were you on the show uh, last week or is that just Matt? You no, know, we were both on the show. No, I was I was there. Yeah, we were discussing how confusing the match sounded because they didn't technically say that the winner of the match has to is by pinfall. Yeah. They it's really should that, point that out in a ladder match. Yeah. They just said, "Hey, this guy is going to get the get Janice, and is able to use Janice." Mm -hmm. Which, to be fair, since Bram got Janice, Abyss should not have been allowed to even try to use Janice. Yeah, that should that should be you know. And honestly, if you get hit with a you know spike laden two by four. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be moving. Yep. Well, you should be oh, in shock. Awesome. You could yeah. be in shock. So. So. And the the one thing I would change. Mm -hmm. Um. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> that is that is your one constant thing to just, change. Just as a general rule, because honestly, I get that he's an asshole. I understand that he wants to be Stone Cold Steve Austin because that's his favorite wrestler. Um, right now, Dean Ambrose is closer to being Stone Cold Steve Austin than Mr. Anderson will ever be. Um, the whole feud with Gunner, with uh, Sam Shaw, makes legitimately no sense. Uh, because Sam Shaw hasn't... It's not like... Like, if TNA was writing this story properly, Gunner would bring back Sam Shaw. 
and Sam Shaw will be perfectly normal and fine and sane whenever he's in Gunner's eyesight. Mm-hmm. But like when Gu- if Gunner return is back, Sam Shaw should be like like pull out Christy Christy Hemi mannequin and just stroke it like yeah yeah I'm oh, still God, that that's... guy I'm still that guy Kenny and or like, or just like use it like on. just do it with his eyes because Sam Shaw was very good at the creepy character. Mm. And and if you do that like out of eyesight of Gunner, so Anderson's like, Look, look, he hasn't changed at all, but Sam Shaw Yeah, that has... would be good. But that that would mean that that means it's good TNA storyline. Yeah. But Sam Shaw hasn't done anything to warrant mm. Anderson's like vehement denial that Sam Shaw hasn't changed. Like, he hasn't done a single thing. And I don't... Costing someone a match accidentally does not count. Nope. Because that doesn't mean you're a creepy bastard. That means you just have shit timing. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I... Mr. Anderson as a concept needs to change. He needs to be a heel again because that that character that he's doing does not work as a face. It doesn't. It, it, it does just not. doesn't. It just does not. It, I don't think it would work as a heel either. Oh no, I think I think it'll work. He's in that little neutral area where he's he's like the Miz. No, only, only without you know. Mike only, skills. Yes. <laughs> uh, but it it to me it's like a a worse a Miz light. So he's it, um. He's the behind enemy lines to the Mrs. Marine. Yes. Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, An- Mr. Anderson was in behind enemy lines, too. Oh, God, I remember that. <laughs> I, 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 I was, I was going to watch that once, and I decided not to. And, you know, just, do ba- just, do, just do better things with your life. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, play, play on, on my laptop and... That's <laughs> important. Um, yeah. So, so actually, I do have some one of the good things that I thought you were gonna say. Okay. And I didn't catch this live. Okay. But I caught it on the YouTube. Uh oh. EC3. Oh my god! I completely forgot about that. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. You were exactly right. That is my good thing. EC fucking three. I forgot. I completely. I don't know how I forgot about EC3. Probably because he didn't actually cool. wrestle. Yeah. But oh my god. Wouldn't you want to just smack around Rhino? Mm-hmm. Especially and not even smack around Rhino. Like he put he pushed Spud away. <laughs> the, the the picture of him pointing vigorously at Spud to sit. Yeah. <laughs> is one of the images that I'm going to remember him by. Mm-hmm. And actually, uh, now that I think about it, the Dixie Carter interview was pretty good, too. Yeah. I cool. mean, you know, for what it was, it, it was a defeated Dixie Carter. That's fine. And that's my talk. Um, so, as as I didn't watch much of TNA... Mm-hmm. I, have not, I have not seen thing one of NXT. So, mm-hmm. Riz, Riz... Yes. Paint me a word picture of NXT in in a good, bad, and things you would change about okay. about the company. And keep in mind that I think um, the the tag match of my soul was this week, right? The Vaud Villains versus Enzo and Cass. Yeah. Uh, I is a, hold, hold on, hold on. I need okay. to mentally prepare myself for that. Okay, I'm ready. My my good thing is the tag team finals. I know that's next week, but my hold God! On, hold on, let me let me guess. Let me guess, guess what two teams it is. Um, did you already I, look at the? Did you I have not. I have seen anything. Okay. Because I'm going to watch NXT tomorrow when I'm at the gym. Now, do uh, you do you want a rundown of who's in it? Oh no, I remember who's in it. It's okay. uh, Enzo and Cass versus the Vaude Villains and. Uh, Kalisto Cara versus um, uh, uh, Adam Rose and Sami Zayn, right? Right. Okay, Correct. I'm going to guess 
that it is the Vod villains versus Kalisto and Sankara. Wow. Yes! Wow. Mmm! Mmm! Um, but yeah, the two matches leading up to the match was awesome. Mm-hmm. But the two... But I think the two teams that are in this match and are going to be amazing together. Uh, and by the way, the best match of the night should was on the main event. Yeah. Uh, was it Kalisto and Sin Cara versus... Oh my god, Sammy yes. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can just imagine Kalisto and Sami Zayn doing some crazy shit. And a close second is... Uh, the Tyson Kid Breeze. Oh, not really. Now that I think about it, the, the close second on paper was the Tyler Breeze Tyson Kid match. Ooh, that sounds really on, good. On paper. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't yeah. good in. Uh, no. But also, they did tease the announcement for next week mm -hmm. about the new, No, about the new general manager. Oh, okay. And I think we we did touch on this before, and it, it's going to be awesome if you don't if you don't. Yeah, have yeah. The new GM was spoiled for us. Yeah, but if if it wasn't spoiled for you, we won't spoil it. Just so oh, yeah. you know, it's going like the words that came out of Triple H's mouth. Okay. True. Um, my one bad thing. Mm -hmm. Does it have to do a Mojo Raleigh? Yes. <laughs> um, but not not Mojo. That was a total guess. That yeah, total guess. but here's the thing: it wasn't. I I liked what they're doing with. I, I'm I'm giving it a chance because he's not you know like Mojo Raleigh jumping up and down, smiling everywhere. He's actually a hype Mojo Raleigh. Oh, okay. Like he's angry hype. Oh, okay. I um, I got I got you. But. He's not even he's not even the part that I'm uh, called bad. It's the squash match that he had with uh, what's his name. I was I was talking about it in the on the Mayhem Show page on uh, at Mayhem Show. Um, Is it Jason Jordan? No, he, I thought he was fired. Okay. No wait, was he fired or was it the other one? No, it was TT. TT was fired. Oh no, Jason! Yeah, because Jason Jordan wasn't fired. Yeah, JJ Dillon was one of the teams in the tag tournament. <laughs> Steve Cutler. Steve Cutler. Oh my God, he, that sounds like a jobber from the eighties. He was a. They they even said this in the opening, like in in before his match started. He goes, "This is Steve Cutler. He served four months in our or yeah four months in Iraq." And he think he said he was a football player. <laughs> okay. First of all, first of all, uh, Steve Cutler, thank you for your service. But here we are going to have a grown man sit on your chest. Hmm? America. Yep. Like they, they could have just left that part out. Like America, America doesn't get hype; it stays hype, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And it just seemed out of place to say about a, a jobber. I mean, I know he's one of the top, you know, one of the... He had he had a good story, and he d actually does look the part. But to say that he... <laughs> to say that he was in the service before, you know, getting zero to little offense in this match just seemed bleh. Hmm. Um, one thing I would change. I'm, go I'm going full speed here. Um, wow. Would you not change anything? Actually, yeah. I, w I, would, I would actually have a finish in the, uh, in the Tyler Breeze... Uh, Tyson Kidd match. Okay. Um, I'm assuming Neville came in and ruined the match. No. No. 
the match ended, and I'm, I'm sorry for spoiling this if you didn't see it. The match ended when Tyler Breeze just walks out. Ah. He says, I'm not, I'm not having any of this, and walks out. Okay. And, but it did, it, they did come up to Tyson, uh, Tyler Breeze afterwards and almost made up for it. He goes, I'm tired of the paparazzi and the media telling me Tyson Kidd and I have some beef. We don't have any beef. <laughs> we're, 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 we're fine. <laughs> oh, that's uh, but, great. Yeah, but still, I would still have some sort of better finish than a walkout, like a, 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 a count-out win by Tyler Breeze, or by Tyson Kidd. Okay. Um, did they announce a new uh, live special or no? They did. It, yeah, Triple H came out right after the Vaude Villains won um, and announced that on September 11th they will have the TakeOver 2. Okay. Electric Boogaloo. Um, but then he announced about the new GM, which is going to be next week. Okay. Which kind of was weird because they announced the pay-per-view beforehand, and you would think that they would announce the GM live? Well, no, it makes like, sense to have the GM book the pay-per-view. Yeah, you can still do that. Like they did that, they did that for months with the general manager Raw being a computer, <laughs> aka Hornswoggle. Well, okay, Riz. One mm. last thing that I think we should do. Just like that noise. Yes. Yep. Uh, I've. I excuse me. I have a message from the general manager. All right. Uh, what is what is your question? What is your thing that we should do? All right. Book two matches for Takeover Two. <laughs> that are that aren't. Oh, they did announce one match though. Oh, okay. Well, I'm assuming we know that um, Charlotte and Bailey are gonna have their match there, and the tag title yeah. finals gonna be there. The one, the one match that's not for the title. Mhm. Mm and I'm sh and I'm sure they're gonna announce the Bull Dempsey. Uh, Mojo. Beat down, yeah. Um, but they they did announce a hair versus hair match. Between Enzo Amore and that one, one of the French guys. Oh, that because because I at the end of the match they, uh, Laporte I think his name is, mm -hmm. shaved off half of uh, half of Enzo's amazing amazing oh, no. facial hair facial hair. Oh no, poor Enzo. Um. If you want me to book two oh, more matches that are while you're, while you're thinking, we have a question from the chat. Oh, we do. Yes, from a uh, uh, Michael Sorg. So Sor or Sa Sorg? Sorg. Sorg. Um, he said, "Did you see that crazy Kalisto handstand shit?" Oh my. Yeah. Um, he, I did not, but need, I plan on it. <laughs> he, man, Mike, you need to. There's probably a GIF out there already. I'm sure there probably is. First off, Sami Zayn and and Kalisto can wrestle a hundred times. I, w I want them on every card. I want them fighting each other in matches after match after match after match. But just that one move of him standing on his hand, it's amazing. Hmm. Okay. Um. So yes, Sorg, we did see the. You spelled Kalista wrong, but yes, we did. <laughs> well, I did, and it was awesome. And and I will tomorrow when I'm doing cardio. <laughs> that's and, that's the plan. <laughs> By so, the way, in case in case you people don't get to watch NXT live, watching NXT while doing your cardio is a great workout if you have free Wi-Fi at your gym, which I do. You stay hype. Um, so, I'm trying to think here of, of a good... Uh, depend, uh, depending on the match, 
I believe they're they're gonna have the four way match for the title. Okay. You know, Sami Zayn, because it was Sami Zayn, um, Tyler Breeze, Tyson Kidd, and Adrian Neville. I believe they're gonna be in the like a four corners type match. There's no denying that. Okay. I think. So that's my that's one. And the second one, now do I, do you want me to predict the the tag match? Because I don't even know who won, so I didn't oh, watch spoilers yeah, at all. That's, that's right. Um, I want to, my heart says the VOD villains, but my gut says the Mexicans, okay. Kalisto and Sin Cara. Because I said it, I said it today. This match, the Kalisto, the tag, the tag match that just happened, was probably any of the Sin Cara's best matches. Okay, good. White, I can't purple, wait. I can't wait blue, yellow, green, whatever. Tattoo, no tattoo. It his, it his, <laughs> it is his best match. Awesome. Um. So, I guess we can't really do who won Thursday because that kind of is pointless now since no, since there's no really big show. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do now. All right. Well, if I could, if I could book two matches, I don't know what to do now. I, if I could book two matches, on okay. Well, if you can book, yeah. I think I would book. Um, Oh, uh, oh! What's the uh, Sa- Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch in number one contenders match? Okay. And I think I would do um, C.J. Parker versus Rob Van Dam. <laughs> they, they, why would they fight? Um, Rob Van Dam burns a lot of trees. And yes, but, that will be that will be the joke. That all they're will gonna, be, that will be the joke. All they're gonna do is sit in a circle and like just you know just have a jam session or something. I you know. know. <laughs> they're not even gonna fight. They're just gonna, you know, forget what they're doing. Either that or I'd make Bailey versus Sasha a bear hug match. Oh, <laughs> If you want any more of us talking about different types of matches, uh, or you want to see Sorg actually talk about Kalisto handstand shit flipping, um, check out the Mayhem Show proper at uh, live.sorgatronmedia.com every Tuesday round about 9 o'clock. We talk about wrestling. Mm-hmm. But, also, but also, Mad Mike talks about movies. I talk about movies. I like movies. You like movies. You'd like me talking about movies. I used to do something with Boss Paddle, a video game thing, but apparently I'm dead now. Um, from what I heard, um, you were you flew back to your home planet and died. Oh. You are the Poochie. You are the Poochie of I Boss Paddle. I am the Poochie of Boss Paddle. Yes. And also, but well, but to be fair, if you listen to Boss Battle now, it's not one hour of Riz and Chachi. Uh, it, it's not one hour of Bobby and Chachi going, "Where's Riz? Where'd Riz go? Why aren't we talking about Riz?" <laughs> That's a Simpsons joke because the Simpsons marathon is going. It's on, on all day. Long. It's on for twelve Next. days. Twelve days. I don't even know if I could watch twelve days of anything consistently. <laughs> So, okay, I got one more thing to do before we go. Okay. Really quick, no explanation. Okay. One out of ten. One being, don't even try to watch this. Ten being, best show ever. Where do you rank TNA right uh, last night? Um, On mute, eight, with commentary, six. Good. Uh, <laughs> for me... Straight sevens. Straight sevens. Straight okay. sevens. 
straight sevens. And for that, for Mad Mike, for Riz, I just heard Homer. Yes. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next Thursday for another weekday mid... For another midweek roar. Yeah, that. <laughs>